Hey folks, um, uh, this is Arithmetic Sequences, 12.1 um, uh, Part 2 in our Integrated Math 3 class. So, I said in the last lesson, um, if, if you're, I'll use Johnny, if you're Johnny in my class that doesn't do his homework, this this module is a killer. Um, there's just formulas and, and you got to just do the homework and get used to the formulas and, the, and this module is actually pretty easy if you're doing the homework. If you're not doing the homework, it's a killer. I'm, I'm just saying, you guys. So I, if you're that student that doesn't do their homework, it's going to be a brutal uh, test. If you do your homework, it's a pretty easy test, okay? All right, so here's a speaking of formulas, our explicit rule. So when it starts at zero, then it's going to be the first term plus d times n, okay? d is our common difference, okay? Uh, when n is greater than or equal to zero, okay? When it starts at one, then it's just a plus d times n minus one. Okay, and then for n is greater than or equal to 1. Now just think of this, 1 minus 1 is 0. It's the same formula, you guys, okay? All right, so the, the recursive rules are if it starts at 0, f of n equals, this is uh, the term before that, f of n minus 1 plus whatever d is. Okay, and if it starts at 1, same, and notice this is for n is greater than or equal to 1. Okay, which is 1 greater than that. If it starts at 1, then it's n greater than or equal to 2. Okay, same formula. Okay, all right. So here, let's do some applications. So write a recursive rule and, the, and an explicit rule. And then uh, uh, use the rule to answer the question. So Tom begins an exercise routine for 20 minutes each day. He, he then he, Each week, he plans to add 5 minutes per day. So plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, arithmetic. So, so for how many weeks will he uh, exercise uh, each day of the sixth week? Now, you can figure this out um, without using the formulas. I, I'm pretty sure, you guys. In fact, you can. But I know your teachers would like you to see to use the formulas, and I would like you to see you use the formulas. And so, uh, I mean, if I, if I said the, the 206th week, well, we'd need to find out the explicit rule. Otherwise, we'd make a total mistake, okay? So, and I know Tom can't work out that much for on the 206 week unless he's Jack LaLanne. You guys don't know who that is. Google him. Uh, so, anyways, uh, so let n equal the, the week uh, number and then starting with n equals 1 for the first week. So, n equals 1 is uh, on the 20, 20 uh, minutes each week, okay? So, so if, we're, if we start with uh, n equals 1, here's our explicit rule. Our first term plus d times n minus 1. Our recursive is we start with our first term equals that, and then every additional term is the term before that plus d, uh, when n is greater than or equal to 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So the verbal description, it gives us um, uh, the recursive rule, although we can find the explicit rule. We'll do that next, you guys. Okay, so the recursive rule is the first week is 20 minutes, and then each additional week is the week before plus 5, which is what we're adding for n is greater than or equal to 2. Okay, so since the initial term is 20 and the common difference is, is 5, then the explicit rule is uh, the first term plus 5 times n minus 1. Let's put the 5 through. So we get um, that, and then uh, let's go ahead and combine 20 minus 5 is 15. So there's our explicit rule. Now let's answer the question, okay? So so for how many weeks uh, a minute will he exercise each day on the sixth week? So let's see that this is our nth week right here. So let's plug in n equals 6 right here. So, so let's go um, uh, plug in uh, f of 6 using the explicit rule. So we get 45 minutes. So Tom's going to exercise 45 minutes each day uh, during that sixth week, okay? All right, let's try this. Claire is buying a prom dress on layaway. Uh, the dress costs $185, so she first makes a down payment of $20 to put the dress on layaway. Because when you put it on layaway, you got to put a down payment down. And then she makes a weekly payment of $15. So how many weeks is it going to take her the dress to be paid off? Okay, so let's let n equal the number of weeks, and we're going to start this with zero. Because um, uh, remember, the first week she puts 20 bucks down. So 20 bucks down, we're going to start it at 165, 185 minus this down payment. So on the zero week, it's going to start at 165. Okay. All right. So um, so let's go ahead and so here's uh, our explicit rule for when we start at zero. 
And here's our recursive rule for when we start at zero, okay? And there's, there's the same, you guys. So since she makes the down payment of 20 bucks, the remaining balance is 165. That's our initial spot. So our explicit rule is the first number plus DN. So the first number, and then we're going to take off 15 each time, 15 bucks each time, plus uh, minus 15N. So for when N is greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so the recursive rule is, remember, we start with F of zero equals A. So the first term is 165. And then each additional term is the term before that minus $15, for N is greater than or equal to one. Now let's answer the question. How many weeks is that dress paid off, okay? So when the dress is paid off, then we're gonna owe zero dollars. So let's go ahead and solve this equation right here, the explicit rule, because this is the nth term, the nth week. Let's solve how many weeks it's gonna take to make that equal to zero. So 165 minus 15N equals zero. Here we're gonna go plus 15N plus 15N. Now we go divide by 15, divide by 15, and we get n equals 11. So the dress will be paid off on the 11th week right there. Remember, she made that $20 down payment on the first week, the zero week, actually. All right. Okay, so this is a, a graph. It's a number 15 on page 638. Okay, so here it is. So here we have plastic cups. So this looks like the number of plastic cups. So here's one plastic cup. goes five inches high two plastic cups goes 5.25 inches high let's read this so the graph shows the height in inches of a stack of various number of identical uh, plastic cups the stack of cups will be placed on a shelf with 12 inches of vertical clearance uh, uh where am i sorry uh, with the shelf above. I'm sorry, you guys. So what number of cups can be in the stack without having a tight fit? Okay, uh, will be placed on shelves with 12 inches. Okay, so it um, uh, looks like we need to find out D. To uh, We need to find out how much it's going up each time to have, uh, I guess, a safe stack right here, you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead. Um, this, this first point right here, 1, 5, tells us that the initial term is uh, one cup is five inches high, so this is going to be two cups is 5.25 inches high. Three cups is going to be uh, 5.5 inches high, and so on and so on. So, so let's find D. So D is righty minus lefty, so it's 0 0.25. We're going plus 0 0.25, plus 0.25, plus 0.25. So uh, the stacks of cups are going to be placed on a shelf 12 inches high, so it looks like we've got to have... Uh, 0.25 inches clearance um, on there. So this is this is our clearance right there, 0.25. So so um, that we're going to use that later. So our explicit rule is um, uh, the the first term plus d times n minus one. Here's the first term plus d, which is 0.25 times n minus one. Let's distribute this through. So 0.25n minus 0.25, 5 minus 0.25 is 4.75. So there's our explicit rule right there. Okay, and then, uh, so this says, what is the number of cups? So that's going to be, so we're going to solve this to make it uh, on the 12th, uh, to make it 12 inches right there. So it looks like uh, 0.75 is our clearance for safety issues. Okay, so our recursive rule, remember we always write, uh, the first term and then uh, f of n equals the term before that plus our d. Okay, so since we started at 1, so it's f of 1 equals 5, and then so we're for n is greater than or equal to 2 right there. Okay, so to avoid a tight fit of 12 inches, the maximum height must be 11.75 inches. Okay, so now we're going, going ahead and start, uh, solve this explicit rule right here. So um, uh, we're going to plug in 12 right here, and then we're going to, I'm sorry, we're going to make it um, uh, equal to 11.75, and that'll tell us what n is right here, which is how many cups we can do to get us on our 12th uh, uh, thing right there. So we're going to solve that explicit rule for 12 right there. Uh, and so 12 means it has to be 11.75 clearance. So we'll go ahead and solve that over here. Okay, so we'll subtract 4.75 from both sides and we get nine and then divide and we get 18. So a stack of 28 cups will fit on the shelf without having a tight fit 
of the 12 inches right there. All right, hope that makes sense. And if you are in my class, I'm going to have you guys do this. I kind of did it backwards. I did your, your book stuff, and then uh, you're doing the your turn stuff. Take care.